Well, I just thought this would be a good opportunity to check in because I'm at the improv right now. Um, if you listen closely, you can probably hear the host for the evening warming up the crowd. Then there's a middle guy, and then I go on. She's getting laughs, uh, which is good. It, 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 it could be a better night than it was last night. Um, I was so depressed, but more than that, scared. And I just watched Steve's video, which I loved. And I loved his uh, honesty. And I loved hearing about his history with comedy and, and the guilt that he has, like we all have, about whatever the fuck, because we all just we all just are dripped in our own shame all the time. All right, so the middle guy is about to go up. You can probably hear the applause. I probably have about 20 minutes, not that I'm going to use that time. But I thought I should check in before the show so you can see my attitude and my mood, which is hopeful. I'm a little bit optimistic and hopeful. Not because anything's changed. It hasn't. I mean, it's it's it still could be terrible. Oh, no, I'm afraid the host is going to walk in, and then that would be embarrassing. If she does, I'll, I'll check back in when she goes back out, or she might just watch the show. All right, so Lindsay, the host, just walked in, and Lindsay, I was talking about my feelings from last night and then going into my optimism for today, and Lindsay obviously was here last night too, and I decided, well, let's just include Lindsay. And Lindsay, bowling, 23 years old, just started comedy a year ago, hasn't yeah. really had the shit kicked out of her yet, although on a kind of nightly basis, I think you, you're starting to because yeah. you have good shows and bad shows. Right. How did you feel about last night? I felt like the first show was good. Mm -hmm. I felt like the second show was, uh, I don't know, it was not good for me. You, were, you know it was terrible for me. We were just laying back here in the green room after, like, just about to go to sleep, just feeling really depressed about it. Yeah, and okay. I told you when we came in that I didn't sleep last night. But I was up till about 5 in the morning. Right. And for me, what it was was more, of, not even so much about the show and more about uh, feeling scared because I had this sense that I don't even know who I am on stage, even though I've been doing this for 20 fucking years. <laughs> um, I can relate to that. I have no idea. But you're, you're not even, you were, God, I probably started when you were not quite born. <laughs> I was uh, a fetus. It's hard to say because I'm, I'm an incredibly attractive man, and so you probably think to yourself, oh, he's an attractive man, so, you know, but I'm much, much older than you as you know. Mm -hmm. And I wonder about your process for sort of, as you're starting out in this, how you feel about who you are on stage and how you're figuring that out. Um, well, I've just recently stopped going up on stage just completely drunk, are you, which I think helps. You were doing that? Not like, no, I wasn't like drunk, but it's easier to go up when you've had a couple drinks. I would, that would terrify me. I, well, for me, at first, it was easier because I just felt like I was pretending to be just, like, a comic who, like, just went up and, like, yelled at people. And, like, I was – not yelled at people, but I don't know. You just are more, like, confident, obviously. Or I was after a couple of drinks. But then I'm realizing that my voice is maybe not so much that. You don't want to be drunk girl comic. Yeah. You would like to be what? I don't know. Something different than that. <laughs> How uh, how much of yourself do you feel like you bring to your act right now? Mm, I feel like I'm starting to bring more. Maybe not when I'm emceeing because I feel like I'm like a very like anxious person. And I feel like I haven't found a way to make that like funny. Right? I don't feel like people are ready for that at the beginning of a show. Mm -hmm. Maybe here. But I think when I do longer sets, like I'm starting to bring more of like myself into it but it's slow it's a slow process how did you feel it went so far tonight uh well we had a heckler mm -hmm. um but she would, wasn't really saying anything she was just like screaming that's always good and everyone else was silent so it was just her screaming and then silence from everyone else so it was like weird i didn't really handle it i just kind of looked at her and like 
kept doing my set. So you didn't deal but with the it situation. Was, I mean, I, I just was like, really? And then nobody, I, the really, audience Really, classic comeback. That's not really... <laughs> that, put, that probably put her right in her fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck it to her right away. <laughs> and then I just sighed like a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think she really, you know, found out who was boss. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I won't do that again. Well, I'm okay. telling you right now, I'm, uh, I'm in a blind panic for what will transpire when I go on in about 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, but, so I'm not bringing notes we're... up on stage. Mm-hmm. I'm not relying on anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you know, I have no act at the moment. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to check back in with these people who watch these things, okay. either in, either between shows or more likely after the show, and we'll and we'll see. Uh, I don't know that anybody has any particular interest in how it goes, uh, other than I think people like to see me having a psychotic meltdown. <laughs> so we'll see. Good. Stay tuned. Thanks for participating. You're welcome. I feel like that was weird. That's always weird. Okay. Good. All right. Well. I'm adding on now. Uh, I had the option, obviously, of just creating a separate video, but I decided it's all of a piece and just tell you how the second, well, the first and second show went briefly. And I, 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 I debated about whether or not to post the thing with Lindsay, but I decided to do it mostly because, well, here's why I didn't want to do it, because I thought I looked like a fucking asshole in the video. Uh, just myself with a girl and like making a stupid joke about being handsome and just fuck me fuck my fucking stupid shit but I thought it I but I thought it was worth seeing her um, because she's she's just starting out and because I guess because she's just starting out, you know, and um, and I'm rooting for her because I because I find myself rooting for people these days. You know what? I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make separate videos just to to talk about the shows, but yeah, I don't know. Just rooting for people, and uh, it's—I don't know. It's nice seeing somebody young. It's nice seeing somebody just starting out and just trying. Uh, you know, I just—I'm—I'm—I'm I'm, I'm in favor of trying, uh, except when it's me. No, even for me, I'm in favor of trying. I'll always be in favor of trying.